Dear students of class 10th English literature today our topic is the fountain that is written by J R Lowell students in this lecture 5 english words and lecture we are going to study specific words phrases and lines used in the stanza of the poem the fountain students before we go through uh, uh, these expressions i would like uh, to show you uh, uh, an important thing that uh, the thing is how many questions are there in the board examination students this is one of those uh, uh, styles of questions which you face in the examination let's understand first how many types of questions are there in your board examination from which you have two questions only the first question may be before you in the examination in which you are asked who is the poet of the poem and uh, from which poem has this stanza been taken then you write the name of the uh, poem and if you are asked who is the poet of the poem then you write the name of the poet just like j r lowell the students after this you are asked uh, the next question you may be asked the next question then the question is which words rhyme in this poem then you write the rhyming words and you know what are rhyming words you uh, can come to know the rhyming words Uh, by observing our previous lectures uh, even then i am trying to tell you rhyming words are like uh, rest and best when the sounds match uh, you choose those words as a rhyming word as rhyming words the students next type of question uh, uh, may be uh, in your examination uh, what uh, is the color of the fountain in the moonlight then a student it is very easy to find uh, from the stanza and it is written somewhere in the stanza and you just see and copy it the color of the fountain is whiter than the snow in the stanza a student after this question number 4 may be difficult for you uh, because this question in this question you ask uh, uh, that is not uh, the answer of which isn't given in your uh, stanza i mean to say suppose you are asked what do you learn from this stanza because the moral hasn't been given uh, directly in any line of the stanza then you use your intellectual power you use your intellectual power and students you write your own answer that's why you will have to understand thoroughly the poem thoroughly and then only you can write the answer hey, students next question may be what do you understand by the expression by the expression into leaping and flashing then you uh, give the meaning of the word of the phrases and of the line used in the poem hey, students now i am going what uh, is the proper meaning of each expression here hey, student this is m rahman and you are attending oric classes of english language please to continue your syllabus don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel or ac classes of english language now students let's begin the meaning of into hey students you are asked what is the uh, mean of into in the stanza or you can be asked uh, what does the expression into stand for now you will answer into means speed you will write singular comma begin singular comma close means comma begin speed comma close students into is a preposition that is used when something is in motion something is in speed something is in activity leaping and flashing students leaping means jumping and flashing means uh, uh, creating light uh, reflecting light in this way you can write uh, the expression the th the expression comma begin leaping and flashing comma close uh, means full of activity and shine and you can also say if you want to put subject and verb in this uh, expression you can write leaving and flashing leaving and flashing means that the fountain is always full of activity and shine comma close full stop after this students let's come to the next expression waving so flower like waving means moving moving flower means you know like means uh, in the same type in this way you can say the fountain moves like a flower Be you will begin your question like the expression 
waving so flower like the expression you will write in the same way comma begin waving so flower like comma close means that you will use that because here is subject the fountain and the verb moves are given here that's why you will say waving so flower like means that the fountain moves like a flower students when you use subject and moves you write that and you don't use comma when you don't use subject you use comma okay uh, i am repeating it when you use uh, that and subject you do not use commas when you use only meaning you use commas now let's come to so so is a single word here you will be asked what does the word so signify in the stanza you will write so inverted commas begin and close uh, signifies similarity commas begin close and full stop you can also say look like it means so means look like A students next expression whiter than snow means the fountain is whiter than snow in the moonlight this is the line in the poem then you will write in the moonlight the whiteness of the fountain is uh, fountain becomes brighter now students i think you should write the meaning in your own words and you should learn all these uh, uh, meanings in these words so that you will be already prepared to face the question in the examination you will write everything from this whiteboard white okay uh, happy at midnight and happy by day students i have written in short because there was no space students here night means adverse circumstances opposite circumstances and day means time of happiness in this way you can say the fountain is happy in both the problems and the happy and happiness it means in favorable or unfavorable the fountain is happy in both the conditions it means the fountain is uh, balanced in both adverse or favorable conditions never a weary means the fountain uh, never gets tired it you can write the fountain never gets tired or you can say the fountain never takes rest because uh, if you are uh, not weary then definitely you will continue to work you can use any one of these expressions is still climbing heaven ward is still climbing heaven ward means even in adverse situation the fountain never leaves its efforts to go higher is still shows students something uh, uh, you st you continue doing something in adverse circumstances climbing means going up heaven ward uh, climbing means going and heaven ward means toward the sky in this way this expression means even still means even in adverse situation in opposite situation the fountain never leaves its effort fountain never quits its effort but it continues uh, to do anything to go higher motion thy rest motion means speed thy means your rest it means uh, your work is your rest it means the fountain never quits quits means never leaves never gives up his work because your rest is your work your rest is your work means you continue doing continue to do your work it means the fountain never quits his work or you can write it continues to work it continues to work you never quits your work students next next expression nothing can tame nothing can tame tame means control it means the fountain is uncontrollable fountain can't be controlled by anybody by anything it means uncontrollable is equal to full of energy means fountain is uncontrollable or you can say the fountain is full of energy uh, nothing uh, sorry change every moment remains ever the same it means the fountain's appearance is changeful you know the fountain is start from the base and it is very narrow and just as it goes higher the higher it goes the wider it becomes so it changes because it works in the it it works in the same uh, format that's why it remains the same you can say but it works in the same way now the final expression is the final expression the fountain the fountain's appearance is changeful but it works in the same way a student next expression is darkness 
और सनशाइन अप टू द एलिमेंट डार्कनेस मीन्स अपोजिट सर्कमस्टांसिस एंड शाइन शाइन मीन्स हैप्पीनेस इन दिस वे यू कैन से द फाउंटेन हैज द एबिलिटी हैज द एबिलिटी टू बियर अपोजिट एंड फेवरेबल सर्कमस्टांसिस स्टूडेंट्स नाउ यू यू विल हैव टू ओमिट ऑफ फ्रॉम हियर एंड यू कैन से द फाउंटेन हैज द एबिलिटी टू बियर अपोजिट एंड फेवरेबल सर्कमस्टांसिस इट मीन्स इफ यू हैव बोथ द एलिमेंट्स टू फेस डिफिकल्टीज एंड टू बी इन बैलेंस इन फेवरेबल कंडीशन स्टूडेंट्स यू आर अ मैन ऑफ सक्सेस एंड इट इज टॉट बाय द फाउंटेन एंड द पोएट सीक्स सच एन इंस्परेशन फ्रॉम द फाउंटेन वॉट इंस्परेशन द फाउंटेन हैज द एबिलिटी टू बियर अपोजिट एंड फेवरेबल सर्कमस्टांसिस स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर दिस ग्लोरियस फाउंटेन मीन्स द फाउंटेन इज ग्रैंड ग्रैंड मीन्स द फाउंटेन हैज ऑल द एबिलिटीज इन इट सेल्फ टेम स्टूडेंट्स टेम मीन्स टू कंट्रोल टेम मीन्स टू कंट्रोल नथिंग कैन टेम इट मीन्स द फाउंटेन इज अनकंट्रोलेबल द फाउंटेन इज फुल ऑफ एनर्जी सो नथिंग कैन कंट्रोल द फाउंटेन स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर दिस स्टिल स्टिल मीन्स ऑपोजिट सर्कमस्टांस इज वर्किंग पॉजिटिवली इवन इन एडवर्स सिचुएशन सपोज स्टूडेंट्स वी शुड गिव एन एग्जाम्पल वी गिव एन एग्जाम्पल टू यू सपोज देर इज सम फाइनेंशियल प्रॉब्लम इन योर फैमिली बट यू वॉन्ट टू कंटिन्यू योर स्टडीज देन यू शुड यू कैन यूज स्टिल Uh, you have no money still you continue your studies so still means to do something in adverse circumstances means working positively even in working positively even in adverse circumstances hey, students you will have to write all these expressions in your fair notebook you can take a screenshot uh, first from the upper side and later you can take this screenshot on the lower side of this uh, written stuff from this white board and then you can write it in your fair notebook i hope students you have gone through this lecture and uh, you liked it very much and i hope it will be very useful for you for the examination of class 10th if you like this lecture student don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel or ac classes of english language thanks a lot